What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame of Report. In this issue 72 from Build of Lorian from Back to the Future, we're going to be doing the right window upper. So, I mean, you might have noticed that I didn't do issue 71. That's because obviously we did a recap video on that and all the part, the pieces that came in those uh, were broken uh, where the door was a bit broken. So I've just gone ahead and done that, uh, which is here to show you. We, I mean, we did do the other side, which is exactly the same. We did talk about it in that video. So if you didn't see it, I'll put a link at the top here now for you to go check out that video. And uh, we will also need to that, that bottom piece for the door as well for this uh, episode so what is issue what should we say make sure to get all your pieces out you want to have uh, the right window up or the right window lower a cable and lights the wheel a large wheel another wheel a tab um, you want four HP screws and one AP screw once you've got all your pieces out guys the first thing we're going to be doing which we um, are going to speed up here is putting in those lights so all you need to do is push in the wires into there. So starting with the yellow far side, you want to do put the middle red in, and then you want to put the other red one in, and then have it trailing up to the side. As you can see, if it looks like that, uh, you will have it around the right way. Right, guys, so we're going to move on to the next section. So the next piece is just putting into um, place that little tab, that little tab, is quite easy to do but it's very um, important to have that in there because obviously that is holding the wire out of place that's just held in by one little AP screw and not really hard to do at all so the next thing we need to do is grab the cogs you want to make sure you put the right cogs in the right place uh, so you want to have 72C and that's held in by an, a HP screw remember guys we have talked about this before make sure that it's tight but not too tight so that you can obviously spin that wheel around if you need to, you can go back to watching the other video where I used a little bit of Vaseline uh, to do it. But, you know, on this one, I found that I didn't even need it. So it might be that I just need to go back and loosen the screws on my other door because if I ha when I had them a bit loose this time, it was really easy to do. Once you've installed that top piece, which is 72E, that's held in by another HP screw, you want to make sure you've got good movement because this is where you're going to be able to put the windows up and down. So obviously having that right, is very important at this stage. Right, so the next piece that goes in is going to be the large cog in the middle, and that is uh, 72D. That is also held in by another HP screw, and that just that's just there. You, so what you want to do is make sure that they all move around. Look here, so th this is moving around a lot better than it did on the last one that I, that I had. So uh, I'm going to go back and probably loosen my screws a little bit more. Uh, the next bit is quite easy. All we can do is slot the top piece of the window into place and keep safe the uh, the other bit that's obviously fixed. That other top piece that I said is fixed is the uh, 72A, which is the right window upper. Make sure you keep that safe, guys. You don't want to lose that. That is a piece, again, like the rear bumper and the wing, a piece that you're going to have to store out the way until you get your next issue, so make sure that's kept somewhere really safe and uh, we'll be installing that on the next issue. Right, so just gonna have a quick flick through the book. We have some information in here, just um, a, a definitive documentary and stuff like that. And we'll also be doing uh, the outer door on the other side. So can't wait to do that, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care now, bye-bye.